Students at Poliano High School used to go months without electricity to power their tablets. In their rural community of Ventusdorp, access to electricity was a luxury. But that's changed. We have electricity now and that is very helpful for us because we can use the tablets and the laptops in our school that will help us to do our researches more likely when we have geographies and all researches we can do them. The fuel cell technology generates up to 2.5 kilowatts of electricity per cell from hydrogen. The cells use solar panels to boost production. The sun is almost there every day, so it's history now uh, talking about problem of electricity. The Department of Science and Technology initiated the program in 2007 to address the power crisis. It plans to install more solar panels and fuel cells in rural areas. Gerard Human sees hydrogen as a clean way to produce electricity. At this school we have an electrolyzer and the fuel cell. The electrolyzer produces hydrogen stored at low pressure in the tanks and the fuel cell then uses that hydrogen to produce electrical energy. This technology has given rural residents hope that hydrogen could be a viable alternative source of energy and that it may fuel the minds of future generations. Adeshewa Josh, TRT World.